Hello everybody and welcome to Social Skills and Relationships presented by yours truly Anon. So in this module we're going to cover how to communicate obsession and be you without your bad habits and then lastly we're going to be talking about an action step for you to do so you can go about and live your life and uh, do shit rather than be a self-improvement junkie. So how to communicate, uh, stop being selfish in slash entitled, stop dragging off, uh, meditate uh, slash do a hobby that makes you interesting. Um, obviously I know um, Stop jacking off is kind of the whole point about why you're here. I feel like I cover that more on the factional course and the other modules more easily. Uh, so I'd recommend that you go watch them. And yeah, just stop jacking off because all that energy you have allows you to communicate more better and you have more energy to actually be involved in the conversation and care for the other person because in the conversation, when you care for the other person, the other person should care for you and, and would actively want to listen to what you have to say um if it's an unhealthy uh, communication then the other person wouldn't care for what you have to say in which case i'd say just meet someone else uh, but that's a part of life and that's like a fear dynamic you're going to have to get used to which is why i say stop being selfish slash entitled sometimes you have conversations and they go horrifically wrong in fact at the beginning they are going to go horrifically wrong because you don't have the social literacy yet to figure out what and what not to say. But provided you have your raw energy of you meditate constantly, or you do yoga, or you exercise, or you do something, people catch on to that. And as time goes on, you can just refine it, you know. But obviously, stop jacking off because you, you just stop doing it, man. It's a waste of energy. So you know that. Obviously, this module is about communication and relationships, but you just stop man get some help i mean that's why you're here <laughs> you know uh, obsession uh, the other people around you have lives to live and what i mean by that is just because someone isn't talking to you for a day or two days that doesn't mean they don't care for you they can very easily care for you but it just means that they have their own life to live and there's nothing wrong with wanting to talk to someone or feeling the need to communicate with someone but at the end of the day you need to understand and not be needy you need to get comfortable with being alone. Um, you need to get comfortable with loving yourself. You need to get comfortable with having days or nights where you're just going to be, be by yourself, right? Um, you, you're going to have moments like that. And for a lot of people, those moments are kind of your lifetime right now. And it's really harrowing and, and it's really uh, suffocating. And I, I do understand that. Um, you know, I, I know I say cherish what you have, your child but um that's kind of like tough love for you you know cherish what you have um you know even if it's something small take small wins in your life you know you've you've mopped up or you've done, I've done some hoovering or you've read a book for five minutes for example let those small wins compound into you feeling comfortable and confident enough to communicate you know provide some value to that communication when you want to talk to someone uh you know you could be a i don't know you can Go on your Steam profile and say you digitally, you know, you're a digital shrink, for example, and allow people to vent and go on, you know, other um, groups in, in Steam and, and say, hey, if you want to vent, let me know. And obviously, you're going to meet a lot of people who just don't want to do that. You're going to meet a lot of weird people. But at the end of the day, you're going to meet a very small amount of people that you actually click with, that you do get along with, and that you do find genuine enjoyment. And it's important to understand that they have their own lives to live. And you have to understand that you have to be happy with the time you spend and be even more happier with the time um, that you're not there with them. And that's really contradictory saying out loud, but let me explain for a moment. What I mean by this is when, you know, you're selfish and you're angry and whatnot, you think that they hate you and you have hate and then you want them to be hateful and that spiral is very bad yet when what i mean by it is you're even happy or when you're not with them i mean by that they're living their lives and being happier with other people they're spreading the positivity that you both shared together to other people and in turn you are also going to spread that positivity to other people provided you don't let that hatred and that obsession get to you which is what i mean by that you're spreading that positivity because at the end of the day that friend isn't going to go anywhere okay you've proven to yourself and them that you're a good person to be around that 
you provide that level of company that's really atmospheric and really beautiful. So there's no need to rush things. There's no need to, um, you know, get uh, fixated. There's no need to do all of those things. You can because it's human nature. Obviously, you can. And obviously, by some degree, you will. Yet it's not letting that aspect of yourself take control. Or even if it is, just let it fly away, float away. You know, it's not important, okay? Um, be you without the bad habits. You know, bad habits make you a bitch. You know that. You look you look like a desperate and weak man or woman, I don't know. Um, you know, you you do dumb shit, you know, harsh and painful, yet it's true, you know. Um, gain internal strength. Because obviously, you know, if you've ever had it where you've gone through two weeks, three weeks without porn, you when you look back, you actively go, damn, I really felt disgusted in the person that I was and um and whatnot and that's honestly all there is to it in that sense you just have to build up those healthy habits you have to socialize yet provide value for conversation you have to be there you know even if you don't say any words you alone should be enough i say should because it depends on the people you want to talk to as well right so if you want to talk to people who are mentally healthy do meditation uh, hang around and be healthy lives and whatnot. Um, yeah, uh, you're not gonna do it by being surrounded by drug addicts, you know. And yeah, that's 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 it. That's all I have to say for for you know how to communicate and how to you know and relationships and whatnot. I know uh, I didn't cover you know loving relationships, and that's just because one, I haven't been in a loving relationship. I can't actually provide you anything. Yeah, I imagine it's just. Provided you tick all of the boxes I recommend, eventually, I assume that pathway will open, and that is going to be good. So yeah, uh, the action step is take a moment and reflect on your life and understand whether you're in the right headspace to do that socializing. Um, what I mean by that is, I don't want you to just immediately dive headfirst into the deep end and then go, oh shit, I'm drowning, fuck help, and, and you know, like because that's not good. Uh, keep it small don't get obsessive and enjoy the small talks when they happen and also somewhat detach yourself from having obsession and having all those negative thoughts and all those oh no what's going on because they're just not real you know they're not real it's all in your head literally all in your head i say this not because i'm being a complete twat to you i mean i am by, by a degree but i'm saying this because i know how it feels okay i know how it feels and I've done these things and you're just going to hurt yourself more. You've done those things as well and you've hurt yourself more. You're going to have to change. You're going to have to work on this, my friend. You're going to have to keep going, all right? And there is no other way. Okay, there's only this way. Okay, all right? Um, like, subscribe, and comment. Uh, I usually put my two courses, which are in the playlist down below, in on my channel, which you can check out. But for some reason... I just decided to put yes. So at the end of this video, all I want to say is yes.